Good morning, everybody. My name is Ken Countess. It's 1130 Eastern Time. It's 830 on the West Coast. This is the next in our series of daily online events to help businesses just like yours and mine deal with this current environment that we just didn't expect ourselves to be in as recently as a month ago. And my goal here is to bring the business community together. I'm doing these events seven days a week at this hour every day at this URL every day. So uh, please join me and um, let's all learn together, right? I, uh, I learn when people put info in the chat and Q&A boxes. I learn what kinds of things are challenging you right now. And of course, you'll learn the content that is on tap for uh, each day. Each day is a different class. So uh, if this is your first time joining me, know that every day it's a different topic. Uh, please drop your questions and comments in the Q&A or the chat box. I'm monitoring both of them. I have three screens going on here. So if I look away, it's because I see that something else has come in. Uh, if you don't know where the Q&A or the chat box is, uh, go ahead and move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen and uh, it'll reveal a black bar where you'll see Q&A chat and raise your hand. Go ahead and use those. Here's what I'm going to teach you in the next 20 minutes. It's the right way to sell on LinkedIn and other social media. The word sell is in quotes because the last thing you want to do the very first time you interact with someone is to have them think you're trying to sell them something right away. And people are especially guilty of this on LinkedIn. I have over 5,000 people following me on my first uh, degree of LinkedIn connections. <clears throat> and I can't tell you how often I get people who connect with me and immediately they're pitching me. Oh my God, that's the great way for me to ignore them. And I realize that a lot of times that's automation that's doing that. A lot of people have um, bots or automation that as soon as someone connects with them and the system automatically sends out a pitch, don't do that. Let me show you the right way to sell on LinkedIn. By the way, this is a 20 minute version of a two to three hour class that I teach on LinkedIn. My name's Ken Countess. I've got 40 years as a marketer, and I'm in my 20th year as a consultant, helping businesses and people just like you, just like me, do a better job of marketing their businesses. Previously, I was a senior marketing executive at three Fortune 100 companies. I spent over two decades at Motorola. I've worked at Marriott and Caremark and a company that's now owned by Honeywell and some others. Uh, we're in our 20th year as the Countess Group. What we do is we help you gain an unfair advantage over your competition. And we do that by teaching you how to target your marketing. Don't do spray and pray. That gets you frustrated. It's counterproductive. It costs you money. So don't do that. Hey, over my 40 years of helping businesses and nonprofits, with communications and marketing strategies and tactics that covers a broad range of activity, mostly teaching people how to target their marketing. We work uh, with companies on lead generation, brand awareness, marketing automation, and these days especially, how to market in this crisis, whether it's marketing your product or service or responding to communications challenges. Are you ready? All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is how to use LinkedIn to help you generate more high quality leads. And once again, it's just a 20 minute session. So let me tell you a little bit about LinkedIn. Here are some fast facts. Uh, by the way, if you haven't already done so, connect with me on LinkedIn. It's linkedin.com slash in slash my name, Ken Countess. LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft. They have over 700 million members. There are still a million members a week joining LinkedIn every week. Um, there are over 2 million groups on LinkedIn, and this is where you'll probably have your greatest success, is participating in LinkedIn groups. All 500 of the Fortune 500 are using LinkedIn. There are 4 million plus business pages if you don't have your company page up there, that's something you do need to do. 
Now, LinkedIn is a search engine. We don't think of LinkedIn typically as a Google or a Bing or a Yahoo, but in fact, LinkedIn is indexed by the search engines. There were over 5 billion, billion with a B, searches done on LinkedIn last year. So it's all about your profile and getting all the right information, all the right keywords in your profile so that you can be found. So here's a screenshot of a recent version of my summary. I recently changed it. Uh, but the point of it is that your profile and your summary have to have the keywords that you want people to use to find you. And what that means is don't use techno speak, use plain language, use the language conversationally that people will use to find you, to have a conversation with you. That's the way your profile should appear. It's not like days past where you would simply cut and paste your resume up there. Don't do that. That's not going to give you the result that you need. Now, I've got a quick profile checklist for you. These are the kinds of things that you need to have in your LinkedIn profile. And if you like, I will send you a free LinkedIn profile cheat sheet. You can use the URL at the bottom of the screen. You can go ahead and use your smartphone and take a picture or do a quick screen grab of that URL or send an email to me later today after this session is over and I'll be happy to send you a link to this cheat sheet. So LinkedIn's about connections and your goal if you're new to LinkedIn and it looks like we've got quite a few that are new to LinkedIn here and it's great that you're taking time to be here to learn a little bit more about LinkedIn. The magic number is 500 connections. That's your goal. If you are not yet at the level of 500 first level connections, that's your homework. Now let's talk about social selling. Social selling is a new way to market yourself on LinkedIn. So we're going to do a quick review of what social selling is all about, and I'll give you some tips on how to improve your profile and raise your social selling score. I'll give you some tips and tricks, and if we have a few minutes at the end, use the Q&A box or the chat box and let's have a conversation about the ways that you can get more out of LinkedIn. Social selling really is a new approach within the last few years that allows you to target new customers, establish relationships, which by the way does take time, uh, building trust uh, for you and your brand, and make connections through your network. It's really this, uh, this, uh, this is a good way of looking at it. This really is a good way of looking at it in that it's about awareness, people doing research on you or your company, giving you consideration, and then making a decision. Should they buy from you or somebody else? So selling certainly has gone social. Here's what it looks like. Social selling in a nutshell means that you're setting up your profile, that comes first. Then of course you build your network and then interact with those people that are joining your network, but don't pitch them. Nurture them as leads and then continue the process. So the steps in social selling are refine your profile, share information in posts, be a great resource of information and education. Use LinkedIn to identify leads. And in our two to three hour workshop, I'll take you step by step through that. Listen to your prospects. When people are sending you messages on LinkedIn, respond. Connect with them at a deeper level. And then use LinkedIn to track your leads. So how do you use social selling? Well, your contacts will have trigger events. These are opportunities to strengthen your connection with them. Reach out when someone has a new job or position. Obviously, in this environment, we're probably not thinking too much about new jobs, uh, but maybe people start up a new business. That would be a great reason for you to reconnect with them. Maybe they work for a company that's in the news. Maybe they add new content to their personal or business page. Maybe they comment on another post or an event and that shows up in your newsfeed. 
Maybe they're joining a group that you're a member of. Welcome them to the group. And then if they're commenting in groups that you're a member of, add comments to their comments. So I mentioned the social selling index a few minutes ago. This is what it looks like. SSI, or the social selling index, has four components. One is to establish your personal brand. Second is, how often are you finding people to connect to? Number three is, are you engaging with them? And number four, how well are you cultivating that relationship? Now, Social Selling Index is on a score of zero to 100. You can see if you're under 30, you're a laggard. You're engaged if you're in the 30 to 70 range. And 70 plus, wow, you're a leader, you're awesome. So what do you do? Well, you find out what your personal SSI score is. Go to linkedin.com slash sales slash SSI, and that will show you what your current SSI is. And by the way, it does change. So here's a real life social selling index example. I have two profiles on LinkedIn. I use one for the classes I teach teaching people how to be more effective on LinkedIn. So this is the SSI, rather the profile that I don't use very much. And if you try to connect with me on LinkedIn, um, this is the one that has me, a picture of me with a black background behind me. This is the one that I don't use other than to demonstrate. And what you can see here is that my social selling index is a 10 out of 100, not very good. The flip side is, this is the profile I look at every day. This is the one that has a grayish, bluish background. A score of 70, which is great. Now, if your score is anywhere between 60 and up, we'll say, uh, you're in pretty good shape. If you're below 60, you've got some homework to do. So how do you improve your SSI score? You use it in a way that helps you create a professional brand. Update your profile, add rich content. What is rich content? It's adding videos, adding white papers, adding attachments, documents, things that would be of value to someone connecting with you. And then if, you add a, if you're at a more advanced level using LinkedIn, you might want to do some searches for people to connect with or use Sales Navigator. Now we don't have a lot of time to go into LinkedIn Sales Navigator right now, but I can tell you that the more you use LinkedIn, the more you'll cherish the value of Sales Navigator. LinkedIn charges about $80 a month for it. Um, you can get it for 70 or 80. It depends on whether you go with the annual or a monthly plan. And you can get a first month free. But that's a great tool to use. Engage with people with insights and build strong relationships. So some of the ticks, tips and tricks that will help you get a higher SSI score, making you more visible on LinkedIn, are to expand your network. Post regularly, comment on other people's content, join groups. And how do you create that professional brand? Make sure your profile is complete. Use a conversational tone when you're posting on LinkedIn. Tell your story in the summary. Do it in first person. Don't use a resume summary, as I've mentioned. And add rich content, decks, PowerPoint decks, for instance videos, images, ebooks, and then showcase your skills and generate endorsements. Also, search for people using Lead Builder if you're using Sales Navigator. And if you don't have Sales Navigator, search on companies. Look at similar companies. Look at also viewed for current customers or through groups. Take a look at the details of potential prospects in your first and second and third degree networks. You've got good visibility on them. Obviously, the best visibility is in your first circle. You may find some great prospects there. 
If you are in business for yourself or working for a business, that's a great way to find prospects. If you're now looking for a job because of this new environment, it's a great place to find people who might be in a position to hire someone with your skill set. And then expand your reach, expand your search using lead recommendations in Sales Navigator. And take a look every day at those who are looking at your profile and engage with the relevant viewers. So how do you connect with people? Join groups that your target customers or companies belong to. Like or comment on their posts. With Sales Navigator, you can track their interests to know what to post. And then send an invitation to an event or to connect with you. Send a link to relevant e-guides or white papers in their field. You can start by posting thought leadership blogs related to your target customer's interests. And after you've built a relationship, ask for an online meeting. We're doing lots of online meetings these days, aren't we? And then stay connected by joining more groups and follow your prospects and customers as well as their competitors. Post relevant content that can help you become a trusted source or, or for insight. And then engage with your network by sharing and liking and commenting on posts. And reach your prospects with in-mails. That's LinkedIn's closed email service. And then save leads and accounts and see real-time updates on your leads if you're using Sales Navigator. Connect with your network often to build strong relationships with your prospects and after introductions. But focus on connecting to the senior level people in your network and then with your prospects and at customer companies. Periodically, connect with your contacts. I posted today's event on something new called LinkedIn Events. That's a great way to see who's in your network if you haven't looked at the numbers of people in your network recently. As I mentioned, I've got 5,000 people in mind, and I invited 50 of them to attend today's event. And then make a plan. How many people will you reach out to each day? Three, 10, 20? Here's your homework. Capture your SSI score from today and do one tactic to raise that number by at least one point. Then capture your SSI score next week and share it with me. Send me an email. Send it to casey at thecountessgroup.com. Let's talk about then how you're doing. Now, if you would like to get this uh, in your email, send me an email and say, hey, I'd like to get a copy of the stuff you presented. And what I'll do is I'll send you a replay to today's event. You can also get a copy of this slide if you send me an email. Okay, let me just touch on Sales Navigator. If you go to Sales Navigator within LinkedIn, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on, not only with your own profile, but with the profiles of your connections. You'll be able to see people in greater detail by checking out Sales Navigator. It really is an awesome tool. Among the things you can do in Navigator are search for leads and search for accounts. You could do it by geography. You can do it by industry. You can do it by company size. You can do it by function within an organization or even seniority level. Maybe you only want to go after the C-level people at your prospect companies. And then you can save several different accounts. That's what LinkedIn calls it. They're actually companies. So you can track what's going on at each of those um, companies. So to summarize, and once again, this is a 20-minute session. We normally do a three-hour event. Uh, to summarize, LinkedIn's got nearly 700 million members, over 5 billion searches. By the way, I'm looking at another screen here because I want to launch another poll for you, uh, which is this one. It didn't pop up yet. 
Let's see. Let's see if we can do this again. Let's end the poll and relaunch that poll. There we go. Okay. So let me know what you thought about uh, this session so far. There are over 5 billion searches done annually. There are 2 million groups on LinkedIn, 4 million companies. You need to be there with your company. Be sure that you're using Sales Navigator and combine email with LinkedIn for maximum results. Why? Because not everybody checks LinkedIn every day. I know I don't. As much as I'd like to think that I do, I don't. Most people do not. And so that being the case, you really want to combine reaching out to people with email in addition to what you do on LinkedIn, because the data is very, very clear. 99% of people are checking email every day. It's a way smaller percentage of people that check LinkedIn. So if you want to stay in touch with your LinkedIn connections, be sure to email them. The URL that I have down there at the bottom of the screen for completelyfreetrial.com is for Constant Contact. Um, and we'll give you free training on how to use it. So my message to you is build your relationships. Spend time on LinkedIn to absorb what you've seen today. And call me if you have questions. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't already done so. Uh, very simply, when you get to LinkedIn, just type in my name, Ken Countess, and I'll show up. Send me an invitation to connect. Be sure you add a personalized note so I know that you attended this session. Write a recommendation for me. I'll reciprocate. Recommendations are like testimonials. They're like reviews on Amazon. Okay, so write a recommendation. And then to help build your SSI score, you can check out our LinkedIn Jumpstart online class. Um, if you go to the URL you see on screen, and once again, if you send me an email, I'll send you a link so you can go check it out. There's a lot of free content up there. You can get previews. You can see what kind of content we put up there, all with the goal of helping you to be better at using LinkedIn. So go to bit.ly slash LinkedIn Jumpstart and capitalization counts. LinkedIn Jumpstart. And this is what the cheat sheet looks like, by the way. You can have that free. Just shoot me an email. I'll be happy to send you a link to be able to download that cheat sheet. It shows you in each section of LinkedIn exactly what you need to do to build your profile in the correct way. And as I mentioned before, use email marketing to help you stay in touch with your clients and prospects and leads and companies you're interested in. Uh, go to com completelyfreetrial.com. And it's free for 60 days. There's no reason not to do it. And there's no credit card needed either. Um, and then if you need a website to sign up for the free trial, check it out, see if it works for you. And then when you become a paid subscriber of Constant Contact, I can give you a free website builder that saves you 240 bucks a year. All right, so we're ready to go into Q&A. So here's how we do this. You go into the Q&A box or the chat box. If you're not sure where they are, move your mouse to the bottom of your screen, and that will reveal the Q&A box and the chat box and also a way to raise your hand. And uh, so I'll be checking for the chat and Q&A areas. I'll be looking over at another screen here in just a minute so that I can see what you've got on your mind. Email me to get the links to the handouts in the presentation. You'll also be able to access a replay of this event. So send that email to me at info at thecountessgroup.com. So no matter what kind of marketing you need help for, you can find all of your marketing needs in one place. Just reach out to us, whether it's email or website, you need a logo, you need social advertising help, whatever. I've got three action items for you to do this week. Ready? Here's number one. Take a look at your marketing. 
Is it delivering the results that you need to succeed? Number two, make sure you schedule a consultation with me and sign up for our events. You can do that on our website. And number three, also on our website, under the offers tab, sign up for the tools that will help you grow your business. There's no credit card required for most of them. When you go to our website, look at the tab all the way on the right. That's where the red arrow is pointing to. It says offers. We try to make it easy. Okay, I'm ready to go into Q&A. And once again, where the Q&A box is, uh, move your mouse down to the bottom of the screen. That will reveal the toolbar where you can use the chat box or a Q&A, whatever you like. Um, my name's Ken Countess. I'm Managing Director of the Countess Group. We help businesses just like yours gain an unfair advantage over their competition with targeted marketing. We're a full service marketing consultancy. Why would you hire us? Good question. We're a team of over 30 people with over 40 years of marketing experience. And by the way, those are people with 40 years. It's not taking all 30 people and adding up their experience and everybody's got a year or two and that's how you get to 40. No, it's not that at all. We've got a very experienced team. We vet everybody to make sure we have top talent. So we can coach you or we could do it for you. I encourage you to be sure that you take time to absorb and practice what you've seen today. And give me a call if you have any questions. We'll all get through this challenging time together by working together. Okay, let's go to Q&A. And while you're thinking about questions you might want to ask, uh, let me put up a screenshot of our uh, website and the URL to go to where you can uh, take a look at replays of events, look at upcoming events, sign up for them, get those free trials, schedule a consultation, and more. Uh, you can find us all over social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, there are others as well. Um, but look us up and follow us on our social channels whichever channels you like to use, we're probably there. I do have an ask of you for attending today's session. And that ask is to share my emails and share my social media posts and like my social pages. And if you've attended any of my classes before, or if we've done any work for you before, email me a testimonial. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to hear your comments. And with your permission, and I only do it with permission, I'll post them on our website. So uh, let me know if that, A, number one, uh, if you would send a testimonial, that would be terrific, that's like a review. And also let me know if you'd be willing to have me post it on our website. I don't use the full name. I might use either your initials or your first name and the first initial of your last name. Okay, so those are my asks. Um, share my emails, share my social posts, like my social pages, and then please email me a testimonial. Every morning at this time, if you're outside the U.S., uh, make the adjustment. I know we have people here from Europe and Asia. Uh, thank you all for joining us, and uh, be sure to join us again. So, hey, everybody, thank you so, so much for joining me today. I really love it when you show up, and I love the family of people we've got. We've got some folks who haven't missed a session yet. So thanks so much for joining me. Have yourself a great day. Bye for now.